Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the derivative of this function. So y is equal to secant inverse of uh, e to the 2x. So to do this, we're going to have to know the derivative of the inverse secant or arc secant. So the formula for the derivative of inverse secant is a little bit strange. It's the derivative with respect to x of secant inverse of x is equal to, so you get a 1 up top, it's all divided by the absolute value of x, okay, and then it's times the square root of x squared minus 1. So this is the formula that we're going to use uh, in this problem. So here uh, we have secant inverse of e to the 2x. So what we do is we take the derivative and we leave the inside piece untouched, that's e to the 2x. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative of this, and that's the chain rule. Let's just do it. So dy dx, so first we take the derivative of the inverse secant. So it's 1 over, but now instead of x, it's e to the 2x. So it's absolute value, e to the 2x, square root, okay, square root, and then it's x squared, but it's not x, it's e to the 2x squared, right? It's that whole piece squared, and then minus 1. And then times the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x times the derivative of the inside, so 2. It's another chain rule, right? Remember, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So when you take the derivative of e to the 2x, it's just e to the 2x, and then times, again, derivative of the inside. So it's like a double chain rule problem. All right, um, we don't necessarily need these absolute values because e is positive, so you can actually just cancel these. And so we're left with 2 over square root. Here you can multiply the 2 times the 2x. That'll give us 4x, and then minus 1. And that would be um, the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world who is trying to learn some calculus. Good luck.